This video shows you how to run <coughs> TD Ameritrade's Thinkorswim program natively on Apple Silicon Macs. It was updated from version 3 to version 4. After TD Ameritrade made changes to the program for other platforms to automatically install the Intel Mac OS Java runtime engine <coughs> if it discovers that it is running on Mac OS. This happened on Saturday, August 13, 2022, and broke the workaround in version 3. Attempting to use the version 3 workaround results in the program trying to download the Java runtime engine again and failing. I could not find a way to get around this problem using the other platform's installer. The good news is that the regular Mac OS installer works now. There are two categories of users for this video, those who have been using the version 3 workaround and those who are starting out for the first time. The problem for those that use the version 3 workaround is that they may not have exported their trading setup before this happened. It appears that the version 3 directories can't be used again, so version 3 workaround users should save their setups before starting. To save your setup, go into your Thinkorswim directory, copy the workspace files, and paste them to a safe location. The main idea with this approach is to install the normal Intel Mac OS installer, then get clear through the installation running on Intel Java Runtime Engine, and then switch over to running it using the Apple Silicon Java Runtime Engine. So the first step for those who have workspaces and setups that they want to save is to save off our workspace files. So in my so we'll go into Finder, and in my case we have uh, the thinkorswim directory and we'll just copy the workspace file then we'll create a folder and call it uh, workspace and paste the file there If you are a new user, then install Azul Java version 11. Make sure that you install version 11, not version 18, <clears throat> which is the current version, because it won't work. If you already have Azul Java 11 for Mac OS Apple Silicon installed, then skip this next step. The first step is to download and install Azul Java 11 LTS Mac OS ARM 64-bit V8. So we go to the Azul Java web page. Uh, there's a link in the comments below. And we get this page. Uh, this page is a little bit different from the previous video in that it has this menu in front for Zulu Core and Prime. Um, we're going to, well, just a note, the Prime basically is, has optimized Java, and I looked into it, and um, it's only available for Linux, so it doesn't affect us for Mac OS, but hopefully they'll put the optimizations back into the Mac OS version eventually. So we click on Download Now, and it takes us to the page to download Java. Um, there have been a decent number of people that just downloaded the latest version, Java 18, and that doesn't work. Um, Thinkorswim requires Java 11, so let's scroll down to Java 11 and uh, Java 11 LTS. We will look for Mac OS. And this is the Mac OS Intel kit, and this is the Mac OS ARM kit 
which is the one we want. So we'll click on the DMG and it's going to download. We'll click on that and double click the package. And it installs. So we're good to go. The second step is to <clears throat> install the Thinkorswim Mac OS kit. So we go over to the uh, download Thinkorswim desktop now and there's a link to that in the description section. And we'll scroll down to Mac users and install Thinkorswim. I actually think this is progress is because, because you can use their Mac OS installer uh, instead of having to um, use the other platforms installer. So we'll click on that, double click, open. And we'll run it. So as you can see, it's doing a considerable amount of work and the windows popping up and down and installing updates. Just take a look at it in Activity Monitor. And you can see that uh, it's using up a fair amount of CPU, but you can see also that it's uh, running Intel Java. And so we get to the login screen. Um,
and so we're up and running. Again, that is Intel. So we'll exit Thinkorswim for now. The next step is to run Thinkorswim from the command line <coughs> using Azul Java, the Apple Silicon version. So we'll start up a terminal window. And let's see, where did he put it? All right, cd slash applications slash think or swim. The cd and sudo command are in the description section if you want to cut and paste it. So we do our old sudo java minus jar And we can see that Launcher is running on Apple Silicon. And we're up and running, and we will again see that Launcher is still Apple Silicon. Um, I hope you noticed how fast Thinkorswim came up this time compared to running it under Intel. So <clears throat> we're going to quit Launcher right now. And we're going to go back and get our workspace. So we'll go into the directory where we saved our workspace and copy that. Then go into Applications, Thinkorswim, uh, let's just switch here to make it easier to cut. So I'll paste that item and it'll ask me to replace it. So I'll hit replace. Then I'll go run this again. And you really can't tell it, but um, because uh, on this machine, um, I don't have my main setup on this machine. I have it on another, but I did test it on the other machine, and it did pull up um, my rather complicated workspaces. So as you can see, Launcher is still running Apple Silicon, and we're all good to go. So um, <clears throat> the next step, which is optional, is to create an icon to run the workaround if you don't want to run it from the terminal window. Uh, there's a link to the video which shows you how to do that in the description section. So that's it. I hope that's good enough. We will find out on Monday and Tuesday when they will probably also have additional updates. Hopefully. Um, everything just works smoothly and we'll see how it goes. <clears throat>